Our word of the day, our word of the day comes from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 37. That's John, chapter 6, verse 37. And it says, all that the Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. Praise the Lord. All that the Father gives to me will come to me. And the ones who come to me, I will by no means cast out. Jesus is talking about all of those who come to him. The word tells us that we don't choose the Lord, that the Lord draws us. He calls us to come to him. You know, we may think we we came to him and we all of a sudden got a revelation or an epiphany saying to just go and serve the Lord. But the fact of the main matter is that God draws us to him. He calls us. And he calls everyone, I believe. Those that answer the call, they come to him and they serve him and honor him and they let him be Lord of their lives. And those that don't, they just continue to be in darkness and continue to do their own things and go their own way. But let's confirm that. It says in Matthew 11, verse 28, it says, Come to me, all you who, have, who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Truly, the Lord is saying to just commit your way to him and put your trust in him and he will give us rest for our souls. He will give us rest completely. It's just a matter of just surrendering and coming to him and letting him do the work. We don't have to do anything but open our hearts and let him come in and do what he wants to do. He already knows the plans he has for each and every one of us. We don't know everything that's going on in our own lives. But we know that God drew us all. And we know that he called us and he asked us to come to him. In John 10 verses 28 and 29, he says that I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hands. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hand. No one. Our commitment to the Lord is to the death, a lifelong commitment. And after that, we don't even die. We go and have eternal life with him. We know that God got us and that's the point of this whole thing we come to him we come to him when we're when we're worried we come to him when we have an issue we come to him when we're in pain we come to him for everything his word truly today is telling us come to me come to him no one can snatch us out of our, out of his hand no one can do anything unless the Lord allows it to happen. So we just need to truly just stay focused because I know the time is coming where things are going to happen, where we may lose sight of this all. And we might think about going other ways and doing other things. And But the word tells us no one is able to snatch them out of our hand, to just come to him. And cling to him. And stay focused on him. The Lord never leaves us nor forsake us. When we cry out to him and come to him, he hears us. Praise the Lord for that. In John 6, verses, in John 6, verse 65, it says, And he said, Therefore I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it had been granted to me by his father. That's confirmed. No one can come to him unless it had been granted and God called us all. And how wonderful is that, that our Lord Jesus Christ and God called us to his kingdom to do his work and his will. How blessed is that? 
we no need to worry about anything because the Father has drawn us all to him and granted it, granted himself. We have all to him. In verse six, verse 44, it says, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up at the last day. This is confirmation that no one comes to him unless he draws them and they come to him and calls them. Praise the Lord. He calls us all. And in the last day, he will raise us up. God will continue that work that he's doing in each and every one of us. And he wants us all to remember this at all today. That blessed are those who put their trust in the Lord. Those who call upon his name. Those who come to him before him in his presence. Blessed are they. And Joel chapter 2 verse 32 says, And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said among the remnant whom the Lord calls. Praise the Lord. There shall be a deliverance. All the things that are happening now, they will later on will not be. Change is truly coming. God takes care of his people. Like in Psalm 91, it says thousands will fall on the left and 10,000 on the right, but it will not come near you because we are the remnant among who God called. Praise the Lord for that. In John 8, verse 32, it says, You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. In Psalms 119, verse 77, it says, Let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live, for the law is my delight. Praise the Lord. The word of God is our delight. The journey that have God has us all on is our delight. Lord, we thank you. We truly thank you for this word today. We thank you for reminding us that you called us, that you drew us all in. You said, come to me, and we all came to you. It was not we of ourselves, but it was you that called us. Because you wanted to do a mighty work in us. You wanted us not to be worried and stressed and suffering and all those things because you wanted to give us rest. So we do come to you. We come to you, all those who are heavy laden, those who are stressing, those that are burdened. We know there are things going on in our workplaces and our lives with our families and everything. And we just come before you today to just surrender those things to you. We know you're the only one that can take care of them. So we truly do lift that up. We pray you give us peace while, and patience while we wait on you to do the things that you're going to do in our lives because we truly need patience and we truly need to wait. And we can come to you when we're feeling anxious because your word says do not be anxious. So when we be anxious, we come to you. When we feel stressed, your word says come to me. And we come to you when we're stressed and worried. And we come to you when things don't look right in our own eyes, but we know that we can't see the bigger picture, but you can. So we don't need to worry about those things. Just come to you. So I lift up my brothers and sisters today. I pray that we just continue to commit our way to the Lord. That we continue to put our trust in you. Continue to remember these words that you drew us all for a purpose, to honor you and serve you and praise you. 
that you have a plan for each and every one of us and all of our families and friends and loved ones. So help us, Lord, and bless us today and fill us with your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you all and have a wonderful, beautiful day in the Lord.